Hello and welcome to Glitchy Kids. If you came from the part 1 video, I'm glad to have you again. If you're new here, we may proceed or if you'd like to learn from the beginning how to edit like Nick graphics, watch the video above first. Then come back to this one. Alright, so here I'll be teaching how to edit this little square that usually goes onto the clip. So we'll be working with scale, rotation and the position properties. Start by transitioning the shape in. Let's do a zoom in and a slide in transition for this one. It's going to be appearing from the bottom. Since the transition is also a slide transition that comes from the bottom, the movement of the shape should also follow that of the clip in order to make it flow. That's the reason as to why we're making the shape come from the bottom. Understood? Alright, we also need to animate the rotation so that it looks flowy. I think that's the best way to describe it. So, we're going to animate it so that it starts from a rotated version, so let's say around 40, and it goes all the way to 0. Then adjust the position for it to be where the head is in the clip. After we're done with that part, we're going to move forward where like I'm going to animate wherever we have a bit hit in the clip. And all these areas all have part in the clip where there's a head. And I want this little square to be focused around these heads. Okay, so let's go on. Now we're going to animate the position so that the shape moves to where the head is in the next clip. And since here we have the head is smaller, we're going to come and scale it down. Then we're going to animate the rotation for it to appear as if it's rotating towards it. Okay? Note that the rotation direction changes when the shape moves either left or right. That means let's say if the shape is moving to the right, we'll have the rotation also moving to the right. But if the shape moves to the left, we'll also have the rotation moving to the left. Okay. You can finalize by zooming it out of frame or with a nice rotation and position transition. Then animate the graph. Add some rainbow flares, I'm going to link the one that I used below. Then you're going to do some color corrections of your choice and pre-compose. Then after you're done, you can try to improve and increase the quality of your edit by, by rendering it as a 4K video similar to as seen in the link above. That brings us to the end of the video, I hope it helped you out. 
don't forget to like and subscribe also the link to the discord server will be in the description feel free to join us i will see you guys in the next video